Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's going to be a little bit different this time because today, as the title would suggest, I am coming on to talk about my nose and what I have done to my nose. Um, probably you guys haven't noticed anything yet because I put up a few photos, but there's nothing that is really obvious. And to be honest, unless I'm at a certain angle, I don't look any different from the front and that was the aim of the game. So anyway, uh, on Monday last week, so it's almost a week ago, six days ago from when I'm filming this video, I had a non-surgical nose job. Um, if you don't know what that is, I'm guessing you probably do, but if you're watching this video you probably do, but it's essentially they put filler into your nose to reshape your nose. It's an alternative to having um, a proper like surgical traditional nose job, um, but it is not permanent to a certain extent, you have to have it topped up basically, um, but it's something that I have been thinking about doing for a very long time. I, and to give you some context to this video, because I was like, do I share it, do I not? Um, I've hated my nose since I was a teenager. My whole adult life I have said that I hate my nose, and I don't know if a lot of you guys will know this, it's not something that I talk about a lot on the internet, but everybody in my, like, real, my, like my real life, real world friends and my family will not be surprised that I've done this at all because it's something that I've spoken about for a really long time. I actually didn't do it when I was in my 20s because at the time I had quite a lot of young followers on YouTube and I was like, I don't want to feel responsible for kind of encouraging that. I don't know, it's a, it's a really difficult thing to be sitting here and talking about this because whilst I'm aware I do still have people following me on the internet, the large majority of them are in their 20s, 30s, 40s plus. Um, so I feel like I've got to a point in my life, I'm 32 myself, where I'm not really influencing anybody that doesn't already know their own mind and kind of um, is in a position that if you want to do this yourself, you can make that responsible adult decision. Um, whereas in my early 20s, I had lots of teenagers following me on Instagram, on Instagram, before Instagram was even there, on YouTube. Um, and I just felt like it wasn't something that I wanted to A, well, I'd have to talk about it if I did it really, especially like a full surgical nose job, but B, something that I wanted to kind of um, put out there, if that makes sense. Anyway. I have ummed and ahmed about having a proper surgical nose job my entire adult life, basically, like I said. And to the point where I've even booked consultations and cancelled them a few times over the years. Um, and when I first found out about non-surgical nose jobs, which is essentially filler, I was like, wow, maybe this is the answer. Again, I booked in with a few people, cancelled it. I was just kind of unsure. I was hesitant. I was looking at the before and afters. A lot of the times, if people don't get it right, you end up with your nose looking really big because they're adding to it. So it's a real art and a skill. Any kind of plastic surgery, you know, cosmetic surgery is obviously, it is super, super fine. And when it's on your face, sorry, this is my phone, go away. It's my brother texting me. Um, I, like, it, when it's on your face, it's really, you know, if, if it goes wrong, it can change. It's your face. It's your face, essentially. And then I saw Claire Chanel, who, if you guys follow her on Instagram as well, she's a girl I know in the space, in the Instagram space, did it and spoke about it. And she went to a doctor called Dr. Marwa Ali, who's based in Harrods, in the wellness clinic in Harrods. Um, and I was so impressed with what Claire got done and I kind of knew that it was the right person for me from looking at her Instagram as well because I feel and from talking to Claire about it because I feel like we had a similar kind of scale of the issue with our noses in terms of our noses weren't similar but they both needed like a tiny tweak we didn't want too much we didn't want them too like pointy or sharp looking or like I don't that that was my worry really is that I would come away with it with a fake looking nose because I like a lot of people who have nose jobs come away with really to me they look really fake I mean if that's the look you want on your own face great go for it but I wanted to look the same from the front um, and that was really really important to me anyway so I went to Dr. Marwa Ali it's basically like a 10 minute if, if if that like five minute procedure the whole appointment I think was about 20 minutes 25 minutes in total but a lot of it is talking um, taking photos. Um, I know a lot of people will ask about the cost. It's around £700 with her. You can get it cheaper elsewhere, but I, I, I was confident that I wanted to go to her and she's one of the best people in the UK that does it, so I, I was okay with that. Um, it also does depend how much you need, because I think if she needs to use more 
filler in your nose you then get charged for like another syringe kind of thing um it lasts for around 12 months so you have to have a top up at 12 months and then it should last a bit longer but you essentially have to kind of maintain it every kind of 18 months i think it depends how your body um kind of i guess metabolizes the filler in your face it's the same as botox like some people need to get botox every three months some people need to get botox every eight months um i'm quite hopeful because i i only get botox done every i've only had it four times but i only i get it done every six to eight months um so i'm quite hopeful that this will last if it's anything like similar to that like my body's quite slow at moving it along i'm hoping i could be wrong here and i'm not a doctor but anyway um it was surprisingly painless like genuinely i thought a needle in the nose was gonna kill like absolutely kill surprisingly painless she did maybe like five or six up the top here to fill in this bit and then she did a few in the middle and then a few at the end these were slightly more painful the only two injections i think it was two maybe three she did that hurt the ones under here which you would expect because um if you think about if you get a spot here and you try and squeeze it it's really painful right so i was kind of expecting that but i'm going to show you I, i'm going to show you like the before and afters actually first because quite honestly and i think a lot of you will be shocked with the before photo as well of my nose because it is an angle that i would never show on the internet if i could avoid it in some vlogs you would have seen it because it's like you know if i turn to the side or whatever but i would never take a photo from that angle i would never post like anything from that angle if i could avoid it because i hated that's part of my nose i hated i liked it from the front i hated it from the side so this is my nose before as you can see i'm sure a lot of you will be like well it's not that bad but which is what everyone in my life says until now hence i've also avoided doing anything because all of the people around me are like you don't need it and i'm like but i want it for me and i'm so glad i've finally done it because i do, like it just makes me so happy so this is my nose before as you can see it is a small hook shaped nose like i don't have a huge nose but it has definitely got a hook there i was really really unhappy with it um and this is the after i actually cannot believe these two photos are taken 10 minutes apart genuinely unbelievable so in terms of the recovery um it feels a bit sore afterwards i would say like the day after like the following kind of like eight hours is way more painful than actually the procedure itself i didn't have any numbing cream or anything either like it was just straight in and it didn't really hurt but afterwards it feels like you've got you know like really horrible like under the skin spots brewing it feels sore a bit stingy but nothing major um the next day i felt like i'd probably been punched the day before in terms of like i just felt a bit kind of swollen and just groggy but nothing that i can imagine is on the scale of actually recovering from surgery like genuinely it was fine i just felt a bit puffy um and looked a bit puffy i did also get a bruise along the bridge of my nose here which was hideable with makeup i'm not very good at hiding bruises i've discovered i never had to hide a bruise on my face before thank goodness it's actually quite difficult um and but it was yeah it was manageable and six days later i mean there's a slight shadow of something there i've got makeup on now but you could you literally can't tell um the end was slower to heal and sorer than than the bridge so like my nose now is still like a little bit tender when i push it but the last two days has got way way better so i'm thinking like that will be probably completely gone in a couple more days because it's almost almost gone now in the last two days it's been diminishing quite quickly and i think it's still a little little bit swollen at the end because it's looking a little bit rounder at the end but again i won't know until it's kind of fully just chilled out yeah and this is what my nose looks like now from the side this feels so alien doing this because normally i would avoid this angle at all costs on camera and from the front obviously you guys have been looking at me the whole time this is the other side this is also my worst side so before i would never ever look this way and you'll notice this in pictures on my instagram all of my instagram pictures are taken this way which also is because i tucked this side of my hair behind my ear like that's my side and i never even really noticed i had like a side until i started doing instagram because it's just like always that way but yeah that is my nose i just think like it's still it doesn't look any bigger it looks smaller genuinely like the before and after i don't know how like i just don't know how it works it's a total optical illusion but it's amazing um i have to go in for a checkup in a week um and see if it needs any like rebalancing or anything but i'm so happy with it i'm so glad i did it um i can't believe it's taken me this long genuinely like i'm i was just 
I don't know really why like I was hesitating so much I feel like I don't know and I know people will judge me as well for doing it but it's got to that point in my life where I'm like I really don't mind because it's my face and it's something that has it genuinely has made me feel so much more confident and happy and it's something that I look, I look like literally, because it's, it's also hard to see yourself. It's an angle that you don't see of yourself very often, right, from the side like this. Like, I can't see it now because I'm like, look at that. <laughs> but I have a, like a shaving mirror in my bathroom and every morning I've been going in and just looking at it and it, I'm just like, it makes me so happy. And I don't look, I don't think I look any different from the front. So it's exactly what I wanted. I think it's super subtle and it just, I'm really super happy with it. Once again, this video is not a like, oh, go and get filler, go and do this, but just sharing my experience of it, having been really nervous about it, and also having wanted to do it for such a long time, I'm so happy. Um, and yeah, it's my little talk to you all about what I've had done to my face. Um, in case you notice, I don't think people would notice, because like I say, I never post pictures like this. Maybe I'll start now, and then you would notice. Um, but yeah, that is it, that's my new nose. Um, I'm gonna go and have some lunch now and hope you guys will have a fab day. See you soon.